Okay, this is Tom, Dana, and Tony out in the middle of Utah. And we found a place that, that says that there are dinosaur tracks out here. And I just hope that there's no dinosaurs still around to make them new tracks. But we have to walk up this trail. We went out, uh, probably, I think it was probably three or four miles off the beaten path. And this is, this is the marked path to go see these dinosaur tracks and it's up a steep hill and Dana's coming it's up a steep hill here Tony's up ahead <laughs> I gotta see these dinosaur tracks huh looks like there might be some weird stuff in the uh, on the path we're walking here huh. I see some stuff that looks almost like a like foot foot falls in the rocks. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Some awful weird mark weird marks in there. I wonder. Hard to say. Heck, there might be other dinosaur tracks that they are much less important to the geologist. Hmm. Wild looking place. Still go uphill. Says it's only what 500 feet? <laughs> huh? Yeah, we've gone farther than 500 feet, but you're obviously still on the path there. So, there you go. That's not a dinosaur track, but looks kind of like one. <laughs> Man. Huh? No. Tony's running up ahead there. Hopefully he can find it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah. huh. is it up there, Tony? Here they are. They're up here, Dana. There's the top of the hill. Let's take a look. Some of the greenery. That's here. Huh. Yeah, he says there's dinosaur tracks up there, so there we go. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> Not too many. You can tell there ain't too many people visiting this this state marked spot. Who wouldn't be interested in dinosaur tracks though? I don't know. Look at that. We're getting close. Okay. Wow. What a walk. Sheepers.
good is that? I don't know if that's not what they're marking. I don't know what that is either, but... Huh. Oh, you mean people are... Oh, they are! People are marking them with stones. That was a track. That's supposed to be a track, a dinosaur track. Oh, look! I, I didn't realize. Did you know what? Look how deep they are. There's one. There's one. Yeah. It's like it was. It was. Here, look. Wait a minute. I want to. There, see, there are tracks like it was walking down this hill here. And what was it? An allosaurus? Well, there's two different ones. That's a, like a bron brontosaurus. Type. Oh, that was brontosaurus. And here's. Shadows. Ah, uh, right there's one. Looks like he was walking in that direction. Yeah, sure. And look how far it is from one step to the other, Tony. That's one step. And if that, that might be the second one. And here's another one. It's hard to you know, get down at the right angle here. You know, with the sun going down, it kind of helps. And then he went in, he got in some mud here because his track is deeper. There's another one, the next one. And then it goes up onto some rocks here, so you know it's hard to say where they go from there. I guess you can use your imagination to come up with about anything, but as you well, I'm pointing at the sun. Anything over there? Huh. Well, sure as heck, if you look right across there, there's the first one, and then there's others, one, be this one. So one went across that way, and then you look down this way, and there's a whole pile of them going down to here, one, two, three, four, five, six, Looks like it might even be a herd of dinosaur tr dinosaurs come down through here. They're just all over the place. And in their depressions, yeah, those first couple things I sh pointed at, sure enough, were dinosaur tracks. Huh. There you go, looking up the back up the hill at them. There's Tony. Now we'll take a quick peek at. Where, oh, it's up here. There's another one. There we go. And I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says. What was that? That was one of those people with the, sh the guns back there. I don't know. Let's see if we can read this from this end. It says, there are no guards or fences here. You, the visitor, are the prospector of this valuable resource. Remember, like the dinosaurs, leave only footprints, take only photographs. Please do not take plaster casts of these dinosaur tracks. Casting is illegal and harms the tracks. The sandstone rocks that the tracks are in are very porous. Unlike trackways in harder stones, the sandstone absorbs the plaster and breaks off when the plaster is removed. Plaster casting is not allowed for this reason. The tracks preserved here include those of five meat-eating dinosaurs of various sizes and one of a large sauropod dinosaur, a plant-eating animal, that likely weighed close to 18 tons. The trackways cross what was 150 million years ago, a ripple-marked sandbar along a river. The sauropod, possibly Chema, Chimerasaurus, seems to have made a right turn here 
The large theropod that left its tracks to the east may have also may have been an Allosaurus, a hunter capable of traveling up to 30 miles per hour. The tracks here are preserved at the top of the salt wash member of the Morrison Formation. This landform represents streams and rivers that crossed the area during the late Jurassic. The sandbar on which these dinosaurs walked may have been bordered by plants such as ferns, cycads, conifers, and ginkgo trees. So there you have it. So I'm not blowing steam by t uh, faking it and saying, oh, we saw dinosaur tracks. <laughs> this is a real thing, folks. The real thing. Dinosaur tracks. All right, and that's the end. I got to walk back down that lonely path down there. See ya.